What's up, everybody? It's Easy. Bringing you one of my favorite segments, Too Easy Road Trip. We have left Damage Inc. once again. We are in Legion is Many. Uh, spent the night there last night. Don't know many of the guys yet because uh, I got there kind of late and I only saw a few of the guys. Did get a chance to watch the last two wars they were in. Watched all the replays. This is the last war they were in. This is the one that guy was in with them. Uh, this particular attack is num their number 12, which is double down. He's attacking their number one. They love using the slap. Bowler Witch. At Town Hall 11, it's a tough attack to stop. Uh, using, the, using the Queen and the Warden together. Uh, when Town Hall 11 uses the slap, you usually see three jump spells. When Town Hall 10 uses it, you may see two because they just have that one less, uh, one less spell. But when you put the three jump spells together, you put the Queen and the Warden together, you have all these, you know, high-powered bowlers down, cutting through the middle. Uh, in this particular attack, you had a couple of witches go around the bottom left-hand side here. You have the Queen and the Warden go around the top right. Uh, you have a couple of bowlers going right down the core. And uh, this base, it was odd design, really. But, uh, you know, these these odd designs are, are tough to tackle. If you've never seen it before, you don't really know exactly how to tackle it. But, uh, you know, the best bet to do is always take on the Infernal Towers one at a time. Don't know if that's even what he did, because I can't remember from two minutes ago. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> so, double down, first attack. <clears throat> I believe he got a six pack. Now, I'm going to say he, because I don't know anyone yet. So, forget if you're in the clan and you are not he, <laughs> forgive me for that. Just don't know anyone yet. But wanted to want to record the first video last night. Hopefully they have another war starting today. Hopefully I'll get some live attacks, either record with live attacks or get some really good replays right after they happen. I'm gonna try to get a couple good videos out of this, out of this um, from these guys before we actually try to go to war. I I believe the plan is that next weekend, from what I understand, we're gonna try to do a 50-50 war with them. And. Uh, See, see what see what kind of uh, clan we can drum up. That I saw a lot of Town Hall 11s in the lineup. So they have a lot of big accounts. So this could be a really interesting war. But, you know, I, I want to land one of these. Uh, I'd like to land one of these CWL clans or one of these big clans. Okay, next attack is uh, actually double down again. Attacking Popeye, number 7. Another Town Hall 11. And I'm looking right now, I don't see the Eagle Artillery, so once again, these are these are Town Hall 11s that are tampering with their base weight, so I, you can't really call it a 10.5, but um, you can't really call it a full Town Hall 11 either, because they didn't have the Eagle Artillery. And it looks like he jumped over the outside wall, gets the bowlers into the core, and is going to jump over the interior wall into the core and then jump out of the core so another three jump um, another three jump attack and that seems to be a really popular attack with the town hall 11s and if you can keep the bowlers in in large groups with a couple of witches along with them those witches keep on spawning skeletons and it's really tough to defend against that those skeletons they, they run out in front of the troops they distract the defenses now, what you have to be careful of with, with this combination is large groups of splash defense, uh, uh, you know, of splash defenses, because one shot takes out all the skeletons, and then they can uh, retarget, and they end up targeting on the witches. And even though the witches are a lot stronger than they used to be, still five or six shots, and the witches can go down. The bowlers are the same way; they are not, they are not sturdy troops. Neither one of those troops is sturdy. That's why you'll see a lot of heal spells or healers with them. So this next one is Simiel, they're number 13, taking on 14. This uh, looks like he's got three Lava Hounds, 23 Balloons, and I'm sure that another Lava Hound coming out of the Clan Castle, three Rage. So this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be an all-out Laloon attack. Um, seems to me like the the kill squad is just going to be the hero, so it's kind of a suicide kill squad. They easily pull the Clan Castle troops. So that's not a very, you know, you don't want to let your, don't ever let the attackers pull the clan castle troops that easily. If they can put the king and the queen in, pull the clan castle troops and kill the clan castle troops with just the king and the queen, without having to designate any troops at all to them, then you are already way behind. So, 
has a bunch of spells. And that's one of the things about Town Hall 10 is, is if you take away the rage spells and add haste spells instead, you can you can have five or six haste spells and still have two rage spells. Now what we've been doing a lot is we've been taking one of those rage spells away and using that heal spell. And, and I'm telling you, if you run into a Tesla farm or you run into, you'll see a lot of bases that have all four wizard towers all together. Uh, and when, when you see a base that has four wizard towers together, or you see a, an area that's going to, uh, that's got a probable Tesla farm. You, you better believe that they're going to have all the skeleton traps that are set on air right there too, and probably several uh, red balloons there too. <clears throat> so that's a perfect spot to put a heal spell down, and the heal spell will help push those balloons through those those key areas in the base. Um, you know, four wizard towers can beat up balloons worse than an air defense. Even though the air defense does does such high uh, damage. It's only hitting one target at a time, whereas the wizard towers, you know, if they're grouped up and there's 15 balloons, all 15 of them are taking damage. And because balloons are not that sturdy, they uh, they they will they will go down pretty fast, uh, even to a wizard tower. Okay, so here's the the number one was was Guggy Gagai guy. I have been playing with him for three years. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I've been in the same clan as him for three years, and I still don't know how he pronounces his name. I know what it comes, <laughs> I know what it stands for, which we won't get into that right now. But I call him Guy, one of one of my favorite players in the game. One of the reasons why I play still. Great guy. Number one when he can't, when he visits, he's number one. When he's with in our clan, he's number one. He drops down to the number nine spot here, and. Uh, this is one of the, you know, this is not a, uh, this is not a typical attack. You don't see a lot of people do this. He likes to use a P.E.K.K.A. for tanks instead of the Golem. And he'll come in, he'll start off with the Queen, uh, the Queen Warden Walk, which that's, that's pretty popular, that's common. But then, um, he'll clear a, a good portion of the base, find a good area to break into the base, then he'll, then he'll send a giant, giant group of bowlers in, and he'll bring the P.E.K.K.A. in with them to help tank for him. And then from there... He likes to use eight, eight earthquake spells. I haven't seen that in a while, but that's been working really well for him. And at, at Town Hall 11, you can afford to use those eight spells because you still do have others. You still have a couple spell slots left. You you know you, you always want to get at least one rage spell in your attack, especially when you're using bowlers. You, you got to get that rage spell. To, if you don't gonna, if you don't have any, wow, tongue tied. If you don't have any freeze spells, you're going to have to use that rage spell to push through the inferno towers or push through some of the areas like the Tesla farms or where they have any kind of groups of uh, splash defense troop, uh, splash defense. Can you tell this is early in the morning? <laughs> wow. So just pop the wardens. No, that was the king's ability. And with a max king, there's tons and tons of barbarians that come out with that. Still has the queen's ability. Uh, the base is already lost. You can tell. The only thing left really is the inferno tower that just went down. Now the queen is coming in towards the backside, and he's got the pekka still up. He's got the king still up. He's got the warden still up. He's got every, all the heroes are up. He just pops the queen's ability. One shots. The, one shots the storage. And the only thing that's left is a sweeper. So base destroyed. That looks like that looks like a max ten. You know, I never knew. I, I've been playing this game for years, and I never knew that on these Town Hall tens that those walls are actually uh, rotating with those colors until I watch one and fast forward. I feel stupid sometimes with some of the stuff I don't know. Okay, so here's the attempt on this name. It's J F Flotry. J Flotry. Sorry, uh, Jay. I know I just torched that name. <laughs> so, using another slap attack, and in this particular base, they they put the uh, inferno towers right on the edge, and that's to try to prevent the the wall breakers from breaking that first wall and, and scattering the troops and having them go, you know, go around the outside instead of getting into the core. So instead of using wall breakers, he jumps over that first wall, which is smart. Then he jumps into the core into those little uh, long little corridors in the, in, the, in the core and then jumps out of the core onto the last inferno tower. So another three jump um, slap attack. 
and I, I just I see that more and more uh, these guys well you know when you get into clans our clan has a bunch of attacks that we do that you know we duplicate what each other does because it's successful and it looks like they've done the same thing and I saw I mean I saw a lot of slap attacks I also saw a lot of them for three stars Okay, so winding down the last attack, kind of short video, but as we wind down the last attack, I believe the plan is going to be, I'm going to stay here for a day or two, try to get into a war, try to get their, the feel for the wars. Now they have some rules that if you have new next to your name that you can't be in war. Um, I may or may not be able to get into war with them. If I do, that would be great. If not, then I, you know, I get that too. But either way, we're going to watch the next war, see, ha see what happens. I'm not in that one. Already, that one's already uh, that one already started before I joined. So the the, the next one. So that, that's two wars right there that we're gonna have some. Uh, I'm gonna try to put out a video for each war, and then hopefully by then uh, I'll have a good feel for the clan and uh, I'll know the guys in the clan well enough, and we'll have a. I'll, I'll be able to see how they attack, what the strategy is, exactly what they like to do. And then we'll have a good idea of what we're going to do in the 50-50. And then hopefully we'll have a 50-50 coming pretty soon. I, I, like the, I like doing those. So those are some of my favorite videos to do. Some of my favorite wars to do too. So. Appreciate everyone for watching. If you're new to the channel, sub to the channel for me. Do a lot of videos. Um starting to cover the builder bases a lot more but I still like to do these videos with the regular bases too so if you have any suggestions leave it down in the comment section like the video if you like the video uh, this is another project that I've been working on coming out in July 20, 2017 we have the ultimate guide to clash of clans it is uh, it's called clash made easy and it's actually the second video the second website that we've made the first website was damp was a damage ink website this one right here kind of takes the damage ink out and just focuses on all of the Clash of Clans stuff. Not the clan stuff, but the actual game stuff. So we have every single piece in the game in this website and has all of the different uh, stats on everything. Chart after chart. There's a million charts. Damn, there's a million charts that I've been doing here. <laughs> every single page has, uh, has Easy's Guide, so you get my own personal take on everything. Uh, so interesting, different. I think it's better than the wiki is. Check it out. It's going to be uh, up and running probably the 7th of July. So I'm out of here. Sub to the channel. Like the video if you like it. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.